When it comes to modifying or upgrading our cars, performance is normally the most important aspect. Of course, appearance and style is another reason, but we all have different tastes when it comes to styling. Some of us in the car community can't stand stance cars, whereas others absolutely love stance. Today we won't be covering any mods that controversial, but still equally as pointless. Let's get on with the video. Cheap tires. We don't buy cheap tires for performance, that's what we keep a set of ultra high performance summer tires for. So why do we buy cheap tires then? Burnouts aside, cheap tires also make for great drifting tires as their low quality compound normally makes them grip the road less, thus allowing us to get our rear ends swinging out sideways through the corners. Honestly, it's hard to explain why we love drifting and burnouts so much in the car community. To non-car enthusiasts, they just think we're wasting tires and burning rubber for no reason. They're not entirely wrong. What we're doing is pretty pointless, but at the end of the day, there's just something so hype about watching someone pull off the perfect drift or just create a massive cloud of smoke in an ear-shatteringly loud burnout. Blacking out our lights. Blacked out lights are one of the less controversial appearance mods in our community. You can find plenty of cars with blacked out lights, and my brother and myself are guilty of doing this as well. Blacking out our lights gives our cars a more aggressive look. It can be done to create contrast or allure with the colors on our car. It's up to you to what lights you black out, whether it's your taillights, headlights, indicator lights, or even black them all out. But of course, like any other cosmetic modification, there is an extreme that exists. And blacking out lights is no exception. If you're interested in doing this to your car, make sure the lights are still showing through brightly enough, where it's still meeting your local laws and regulations. Keep safety of the others on the road in mind. Don't be that guy who's driving around town with lights so dark that people can't even tell if you're braking. We all hate ricers who use unnecessarily large wings, but every now and then, we find ourselves guilty of still being charmed by cars with a spoiler it doesn't really need. Most street cars don't even have use for smaller wings, so why do we put them on our car anyway? Putting a wing on our car can give our vehicle that added style or uniqueness that makes it stand out from other cars. There's nothing wrong with wanting a small lip spoiler, and heck, don't be afraid to go a little bigger. I know we ostracize ricers a lot in the car community, but come on, does the Subaru WX really need a wing that size? Probably not, but does it look cool? You bet it does. There are many weird inside rules we have in the car community about wings. For example, if a car has a massive wing on it, but it came like that from a factory, then it's okay and not considered rice. But if you add that wing on your own, then it's rice. Honestly, spoilers are hands down the most taboo thing to talk about in the car community. Do you really need the wing? Are you a track day bro? Or are you just some grocery getter? Either way, do whatever you want, but if you're conscious of what others think about your decision, then play it safe and get a spoiler that is done tastefully and not oversized just for the sake of trying to get attention. We've all probably heard the jokes about ricers thinking stickers add horsepower, but in all seriousness, stickers aren't a bad addition to your car. There's nothing wrong with wanting to rep your favorite brands and manufacturers. However, just do everything in moderation. Well-placed stickers in a fair amount can give your car that extra style or hint of personality. Using stickers properly can potentially add to the presentation of your vehicle. Like tattoos on a human, stickers on a car need to be placed properly and hold some sort of value to your vehicle. Haphazardly covering your car with them just comes off as silly. Quality over quantity is key here, so to the 16 year old who just covered their Honda Civic front to back with cheap stickers that they bought off eBay, you're not fooling anyone into thinking you're a sponsored race car driver. On to some honorable mentions, rather one honorable mention, which is debadging. This isn't really even a modification since instead of adding something, it actually involves taking something off. I personally am fine with debadging and I think it can make a car's appearance look more sleek. Debadging really allows the car's colors to show more, especially if you have a custom paint job. However, I'm not a fan of debadging and then rebadging the car into something it's not. Like if you own a V6 Mustang and you removed its badges just to put GT badges on instead, well you're a freaking poser. Be proud of what you own and for what it is. Don't try to make your car look like something it's not. And finishing this list off is painting brake calipers. No, painting them red won't make your car go faster or stop any sooner. However, using the proper paint and not just some tacky spray paint can actually keep your calipers protected from rust and other long-term deterioration issues. Of course, red isn't the only color that's acceptable and there are a vast amount of color choices you can choose from. Painted calipers are very small detail, but definitely not one that will go without being noticed. 
Make sure to like this video and leave a comment about what your favorite pointless mod is. Also, I have a request that I want to ask from you guys, which is to understand that my second most popular video, 5 Useless Mods, was one of the first videos I have ever made back when my channel only had 13 subscribers. It sucks. It's seriously, it's a terrible video. I, I don't recommend watching it if you haven't seen it. And I don't really stand by half the things I said in that video, except for fart cans. Those are still terrible. Having said that, if you have watched the video, or if you do want to watch the video, watch it with a grain of salt, and don't take anything I say in it to heart. And if you are looking for other mod videos to watch, make sure to check out my Beginner's Guide to Modding series, where I talk about 5 must knows before modding, and a guide to choosing exhaust mods. Other than that, thanks for watching, Blade Angel out.